Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our second session for powers and exponents. In the previous session, we discussed some basic rules of powers and exponents. Even we did some problems based on uh, the topic. In this session, we'll be taking more problems, uh, some variety of the problems. So let's begin this session. Now, let's take this question. Uh, by what number should 5 raised to minus 1 be multiplied so that the product may be equal to minus 7 raised to minus 1? Now just frame an equation, let the number be. x right if x is multiplied by 5 raised to minus 1 the product is minus 7 raised to minus 1 that means x is what 5 raised to minus 1 will be uh, like it, it will go this side and it will be in the denominator so it's minus 7 raised to minus 1 by 5 raised to minus 1 now minus 7 is all also having the power as minus 1 and 5 is also having the power as minus 1 so what we can do, we can rewrite it like this. Okay, now since the power is minus, to convert it into positive, what we can do, we have to write the reciprocal of the number that is inside the bracket. So x is equal to minus 5 by 7 raised to 1. Okay, now minus 5 by 7 raised to 1, that will be minus 5 by 7. So the value of x must be minus 5 by 7 or we can say 5 raised to minus 1 if it is multiplied by minus 5 raised to 7 the answer will be equal to minus 7 raised to minus 1. So these are the very simple steps just write it uh, one or two times and you will be able to grasp that. Okay. Similarly in this problem by what number should this be multiplied so the product is equal to this. Now further once again let the number be x. Now 1 upon 2 raised to minus 1 multiplied by x and the product is equal to minus 4 by 7 raised to minus 1. Now to convert this to positive what we will do? We will write the reciprocal of 1 by 2 that is 2. So 2x is equal to similarly uh, minus 4 by 7 write the reciprocal of uh, minus 4 by 7 so minus 1 will be converted to plus 1 so it's minus 7 by 4 right now we have to calculate the value of x so x is equal to minus 7 by 4 this 2 will be divided uh, be divided by minus I'm sorry this minus 7 will be divided by 2 that means 2 will go to denominator of of this okay so is this so it's minus 7 by 8, right? So that is the value of x, okay? So x is minus 7 by 8. If minus 7 by 8 is multiplied by this number, the product will be this, right? Steps are very simple, friends. It's half in raised to minus 1. So just write the reciprocal of half. That will be 2. So the power will be converted to positive. Similarly, write the reciprocal of minus 4 by 7. Uh, friends, if you write the reciprocal of any negative number, the sign of the number doesn't change. Be very careful about it, right? Okay. So if you write the reciprocal of minus 4 by 7, it will be minus 7 by 4 and the power will be converted to positive. Okay. So you can calculate the value of x very easily. Okay. Now let's see this question. By what number should minus 15 raised to minus 1 be divided so that the quotient is equal to uh, minus 5 raised to minus 1? Right? The same step. Let the number be x. Now we have to divide this number by x. So it's minus 15 raised to minus 1 divided by x and that is equal to minus 5 raised to minus 1. Now what? To eliminate the negative power, what we have to do? We have to write down the reciprocal of the number inside the bracket, right? So it's minus 1 upon 15x, right? Uh, negative will, uh, will be there. Negative sign will remain there. Similarly, it's 1 upon minus 5. Whether it is a numerator or a denominator, minus sign you can put anywhere, right? Now what? Um, this is equal to sign. Left hand side is also negative. Right hand side is also negative. That means what? 
both the sides will be converted to positive if we multiply both the signs with negative sign right so 1 upon 15 x is 1 upon 5 now just do a cross multiplication very simple 15 x is equal to 5 so x is 5 by 15 or we can say 1 by 3 right so we have to find out the value of x and that's 1 by 3 okay again I just make a quick recap over here number which is uh, asked is x now minus uh, 15 raised to minus 1 when divided by x gives minus 5 raised to minus 1 minus 15 raised to minus 1 uh, I just have to write the reciprocal of minus 15 that's 1 by 15 and negative sign will remain there here the reciprocal of minus uh, 5 will be 1 upon minus 5 so both the negatives will be cancelled just cross multiply and get the value of x okay now uh, here we have to simplify this expression so let's do it see all the numbers are 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 raised to minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so there are two ways first of all what you can do just write down the reciprocal of each number so the power is converted into positive right so it's 2 by 3 raised to 1 into 2 by 3 raised to 1 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 right now it's what 2 4 times and 3 4 times that means it is 2 by 3 raised to 4 you can write it like this or 2 raised to 4 by 3 raised to 4 that is 2 raised to 4 is 16 and 3 raised to 4 is 81 okay so if the power is big don't have to calculate if the power is small you can calculate it like this okay similarly we see this question here 2 by 5 2 by 5 2 by 5 so what you do 5 by 2 raised to 2 into 5 by 2 raised to 2 into 5 by 2 raised to 2 so it's 5 by 2 raised to 2 plus 2 plus 2 so it is 5 by 2 raised to 6 okay either leave it up to here or it is equal to 2 by 5 raised to minus 6 if it is asked that put the number in negative exponent then you can just take a reciprocal of 5 by 2 so the exponent will be negative or if you have to solve it you can even solve it 5 raised to 6 by 2 raised to 6 but 5 raised to 6 will be a big number so right chances are there the solution of this expression will not be asked so the thing is whether uh, the solution is asked in this format or in this format when uh, if you wish to have the positive exponent leave it up to here if you wish to have negative exponent just take the reciprocal of the number inside the bracket so the exponent will be converted to negative okay so it depends upon what is asked in the paper now friends uh, in these cases we have to uh, express the rational numbers with negative exponent right now to get the negative exponent what, what we have to do we have to uh, find out the reciprocal of the number that is inside the bracket right so it's 1 upon 4 so that will be equal to 4 raised to minus 3 right you take the reciprocal of 1 by 4 that is 4 and when you take the reciprocal simultaneously you take the negative of the exponent right so it's 1 upon 4 raised to uh, 3 is equal to 4 raised to minus 3 similarly 3 if you take the reciprocal of 3 it will be 1 by 3 if you write 1 by 3 then take the power as negative okay similarly uh, write the reciprocal of 3 by 5 so that will be 5 by 3 and when you write 5 by 3 take the exponent as negative okay now here it's 3 by 2 raised to 4 so it's a 4 into minus 3 because it is a raised to m into n format so both the uh, exponents will be multiplied so it's 3 by 2 raised to 4 into minus 3 that's minus 12 so already the exponent is negative so you don't have to do anything similarly over here it's 7 by 3 raised to 4 into minus 3 that is minus 12 so already the exponent is negative so don't have to do anything okay so this way you can do it's very easy friends now friends in this case we have to find out the rational numbers with positive exponent here 
the power is negative if we wish it to be positive what we have to do we have to take the reciprocal of the number that is inside the bracket so reciprocal of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3 so when you write the reciprocal convert the power to positive as simple as that okay if you have to simplify this what you can do it's 4 square by 3 square that is 16 by 9 right so simplify only when it is asked in the exam okay otherwise you can leave it to up uh, leave it to the, uh, up to here okay now similarly 5 by 4 reciprocal will be 4 by 5 and if you write the reciprocal convert the power to positive so it's 4 cube by 5 cube so it's 64 by 125 right similarly it is 4 raised to 3 minus 9 okay 4 raised to 3 minus 9 because the base is same so the powers will be added so 3 plus minus 9 that means 3 minus 9 so that is 4 raised to minus 6 that is 1 upon 4 raised to 6 okay similarly here 4 upon 3 now this minus 3 and this minus 4 both of them will be multiplied so minus 3 into minus 4 is what 12 okay so the exponent is already positive so you don't have to do anything else so it's 4 by 3 raised to 12 if you wish to split you can split it like this else it is not at all required you can leave up to here only okay similarly this problem it's 3 by 2 raised to 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8 now wish to convert the exponent into positive just take the reciprocal of the number inside the bracket so it's 2 by 3 raised to 8 okay so friends uh, it's very simple just practice uh, 8 10 sums just print the worksheet from the site and do the problems I, I think you'll be gaining the confidence very quickly and easily yeah now we have to do simplification of this expression so first of all let's solve the value inside the bracket so let's start from here 1 upon 3 and the exponent is negative so to convert the exponent positive write the reciprocal of 1 by 3 that's 3 so it is 3 cube similarly it is 2 cube right reciprocal of 1 by 2 is 2 so the negative exponent will be converted to positive so it's 2 cube similarly reciprocal of 1 by 4 is what 4 and if we use 4 minus 3 will be converted to 3 okay now 3 cube is what 27 2 cube is what 8 divided by 4 cube that is 64 so 27 minus 8 is 19 and this is 64 okay similarly let's solve it uh, 1 upon 2 raised to minus 1 so write the reciprocal of 1 by 2 so the power will be converted to positive so it's 2 into uh, what will be the reciprocal of minus 1 by uh, minus 4 that's minus 1 by 4 now the power will be converted to positive and overall there is minus 1 okay now 2 into minus 1 by 4 okay so 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 so it's minus 1 by 2 raised to minus 1 so convert uh, negative 1 to positive by writing down the reciprocal of minus 1 by 2 so that's minus 2 okay now in this case what you do uh, first of all multiply these three powers right it's what a raised to m raised to n raised to say p so that will be a raised to m into n into p okay so it's minus 1 by 4 raised to 2 into minus 2 into minus 1 2 into minus 2 into minus 1 so that 2 times negative so that will be converted to positive so 2 into 2 into 1 that's 4 okay so it's minus 1 by 4 raised to 4 okay so the exponent is already positive so you don't have to convert it now negative 1 raised to 4 so like even power of negative will be converted to positive so it's 1 upon 4 is to 4 or what we can say it's 1 upon 4 is to 4 right if you are asked about to convert that to prime number so what you can do instead of 4 what you can write 2 square 
into 4 or uh, raised to 4 so it's 1 upon 2 raised to 8 okay so up till here you can leave or you can go up to here right so whatever uh, is asked in the question you have to proceed accordingly now similarly let's try this problem is 2 by 3 raised to 2 then raised to 3 so it will be 2 by 3 raised to 2 into 3 similarly 1 by 3 is having negative power so write the reciprocal of 1 by 3 that's 3 so the power will be converted to positive so it's 3 raised to 4 now 3 raised to minus 1 write the reciprocal of 3 that's 1 upon 3 6 raised to minus 1 write the reciprocal of 6 that's 1 upon 6 now it is what 2 by 3 raised to 6 into 3 raised to 4 into 1 upon 3 into 1 upon 6. Now friends, this 2 raised to 6 upon 3 raised to 6 into 3 raised to 4 by 3 into 6 can be written as 3 into 2. Okay. Now 2 raised to 6 and this is 2 raised to 1. So it is 2 raised to 6 minus 1. Similarly, sorry, it's uh, rubbed. So it's 2 raised to 6 by 3 raised to 6 into 3 raised to 4 by 3 into 3 into 2, right? This is this 3 and 6 can be written as 3 into 2, okay? So it's 2 raised to 6 minus 1 into 3. This is 4 minus 6 because it is coming from the denominator then this is 3 raised to 2 so 3 raised to 2 when 2 will we will be taking in the numerator it will be minus 2 so it's 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 6 and to 8 so 4 minus 8 is minus 4 or it is 3 raised to 4 okay so you can solve like this or maybe you are, if you are asked to simplify it more so 2 raised to 5 is 32 and 3 raised to 4 is 81 okay I hope you are clear now let's try this problem by what number should half raised to minus 1 be multiplied so the product is equal to this so we have already done let the number be x now half raised to minus 1 into x is equal to minus 4 by 7 raised to minus 1. Now to remove the negative exponent, what has to be done? We have to write the reciprocal. So it's 2x is equal to 7 by 4. That's minus 7 by 4. So x is equal to minus 7 by 8. Just take 2 to the de denominator of 7. Okay. So it's minus 7 by 8. So the value of x is minus 7 by 8. That means this number should be multiplied by minus 7 by 8 to get this. Okay. So friends, I hope you might have enjoyed the session. Uh, do practice well with all the concepts and the problems we have discussed in this session. And uh, just uh, we'll meet you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.